What's up, guys? We are finally back on the dyno at Jones Subwoofer Solutions. And today I've got a very nice amp. It is the DeMore Engineering E1000. And if you guys haven't heard about these DeMore amps, um, they are made by the same person behind uh, the DD1 and several Rockford Fosgate projects. Uh, but he made these amps and they do feature technology he's calling the clean, I believe it's clean D technology. So these amps do have some added output filtering and uh, some filtering on the 12 volt input and a few other features that make these uh, very, very nice high sound quality and uh, good, for, good for sound quality even though they are a class D amp. Uh, which keeps their cost and size down. So today we've got the E1000. It is a 1000 watt monoblock. And we will take a quick look. It does come with a nice aluminum housed base knob. It does have a min max level labeled on it. And it does have a phone jack style connection. The manual shows a 400 watt at four ohm rating. 700 watts at 2 ohms and a 1000 watt at 1 ohm rating. So we'll definitely test that today and see what it does. We do have it uh, hooked up using our 4 gauge welding cable. Everything to spec. And drop your guesses now. Catch you on the dyno in just a second. We'll see what this thing does. Alright, here we are on the dyno. Got us all ready to go. Uh, the way we're going to do this, I'm going to run 4 ohm, then 2 ohm, then 1 ohm. And we're going to run certified, then uncertified, then dynamic. If you're new to the channel, that's how I try to do things, unless the amp is questionable. But these, these are great amps. We'll have no trouble with 1 ohm runs today. We may even run 0.8. Um, if you're new to the channel, though, please subscribe. We do appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know when we post a new video got a lot more coming for you guys so let's get to it 400 watts at 4 ohms and again we're going to start with certified 4 ohms we are starting at 14.8 volts and certified is up to 1% distortion the dyno will stop reading when it sees 1% distortion here we go Again, 4 ohms is 400 watt rating. And we got 467 watts into 4 ohms, dropped to 14.7 volts. Very nice. So we will go back to 2 ohm load. Restart my track, we're at 14.79 volts. I don't have any chargers on right now. We're just floating on the C-Max. And again, two ohms was rated 700 watts. We got 778 watts into two ohms and we dropped to 14.6 volts. More than rated again. One ohm. Rated a thousand watts. Starting at 14.74 volts. Overrated again, uncertified, 1,124 watts into one ohm, we dropped to 14.48 volts. Very good for this amp. We will continue now with our uncertified testing. And uncertified is the same as certified, same track. It's just that the dyno will continue to read even if it sees a little bit of clipping. We will start at four ohms. 
up to distortion, I'm sorry, up to clipping. We generated 400 watts, starting at 14.83 volts. We got 478 watts into 4 ohms, dropped to 14.7 volts. And now we'll try 2 ohms uncertified. We generated 700 watts. We're at 14.77 volts. Uncertified into clipping. And we got 817 watts into 2 ohms, dropped to 14.58 volts. Very nice. And 1 ohm, generated 1,000 watts. We're at 14.7 volts. Here we go, 1 ohm uncertified into clipping. One thousand two hundred forty nine watts into one ohm dropped to fourteen point four volts. Very nice. Now we will go back and we'll do dynamic. Dynamic is a burst track, forty hertz burst. And again, we'll start with a four ohm load. Starting at 14.8 volts, here we go. Burst at four ohms. Four hundred and eighty-three watts into four ohms. Drop to fourteen point seven volts. And two ohms. Starting at fourteen point seven seven volts. Again, this is rated seven hundred watts at two ohms. And the burst track. Way overrated on the burst track. Got 845 watts into two ohms, dropping to 14.62 volts. And we will go back and do our one ohm run. One ohms burst starting at 14.72 volts. I think that's it. 1,317 watts into one ohm, dropping to 14.4 volts. Very, very solid performance. And I know you guys are going to ask for it. I mentioned it already, so we'll do it. I'm not sure what this amp will do, it may protect, it'll probably be fine though. We'll try a 0.8 ohms dynamic burst, just for you guys. We're at 14.73 volts, this is not in the manual. And there you go, almost 1500 watts, that is crazy. 1,497 watts at a 0.8 ohms at 14.43 volts. So let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and get the amp uh, unpowered and we'll open it up and get a look inside. But uh, let me know what you guys think of that so far. Catch you back on the bench.
All right, guys, we're back on the bench. I've got the back plate off the E1000 from Demore Engineering. We will take a look inside. You can see, so I got it upside down. You can see it is uh, labeled the E1000. I'm fairly certain that Tony does design these boards himself. 2200 microfarad, 100 volt caps. I can't quite make out what those ones are. Maybe you guys can. But very nice looking compact amp. And it did all of its rated power and more. So this one impressed me. Here, we'll take a look at the end caps here. On the input side, you've got uh, RCAs or high level inputs. So if you've got a stock deck or factory head unit, uh, you can use this without using a line drop and keep your, your stock head unit. Level is your gain adjustment, has a phase adjustment from 0 to 180 degrees, has a 0 to 12 dB bass boost. The subsonic filter or infrasonic filter is 10 hertz to 50 hertz. There's the plug for your bass remote and the low pass filter goes from 50 to 250 hertz. And on the other end, you've got approximately 10 or 12 gauge speaker outputs, power protect light, three 40 amp fuses, and we fit four gauge welding cable into these power and ground inputs. And it does have a slightly oversized remote. So that is all I have for you guys today on the E1000. Let me know what you guys think. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, please give me a subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell so you know when we post a new video. I want to thank you guys for watching, all of you. And uh, we'll see you next time.